What's up guys, this is Save Knight, and welcome back to Let's Play Wizardry, Tale of the Forsaken Land. Last episode, before doing anything, I actually went and restarted the game with a new game to make a new character, because it actually really bothered me that I didn't get some of those cutscenes that I really wanted to, you know, get and to show you, and I didn't really have to go that far. Two of them I needed to actually, no, three of them I needed to actually beat B1, and then the second one I had to actually beat B2, and I actually learned I can do that at level, like, five and six. So this whole, like, level eight and nine thing I really didn't need to do, but I guess it just helps. And like I said, it was just crap that I wanted to show you that I kind of didn't get to do that a lot of people didn't even know about for some reason that I almost forgot about. Uh, like the thing with Ruby and the it bigger shot with the magic stone quiz. That female pissed off knight coming out of the inn meeting Daniel in front of the altar, the snowy altar. And then meeting that other um, group of knights at the entrance to B2. So after I did all that crap, is that what I wanted? I um, headed back to you know the tavern, picked up the three B5 quests here. I think the one I actually just completed was this one, Geese's Please Find Hannah. There's a pixie thing guarding the door, but if you actually go there without getting the quest and you talk to her, she won't let you through and she'll try to, you know, pester you out of a carcass and cathedral stone. Which that's not recommended that you give up because of your pissed off spells. And the orc behind you that was hiding behind those barrels tells you that that's Hana that you're looking for. And you learn that pixies actually transform into, hu into uh, human females to lure men into the labyrinth for protection. And he ended up getting killed by a lesser demon, so he had to take care of that crap. And he was a pain in the fucking ass. And then I pretty much just called it there. Uh, if you see my money looks different, is because I had to actually redo this entire section like four times because it just kept not either recording right or the save didn't save in the right spot so I had to redo a whole section again or some kind of bullshit so I'm back to here now also I don't think I actually showed if you press the square button to bring up this little menu you hit suspend data and it will actually save the game right where you are in the exact spot and kick you back to the title screen. And from there, you can actually turn your game off when you come back on. Which I guess I can just show it real quick. It's not like I have anything else to fucking do right now. And it kicks you back to the title screen, where if I turn it off, I can turn it back on, and this will be here. And you can literally pick up right where you just left off at. I don't know if it saves it onto the memory card or if it just temporarily saves it onto the disc. I don't know how that works. But let's say if you're like at a like a dungeon, you really don't feel like running back to town, you can just suspend, turn it off, and just come back when you're you know more awake or whatnot. So you just hit continue. Loading the suspended data. Well, delete it like off the memory card or the disc or whatever the fuck it's saved on and skadoosh I'm back right here I actually want to go here first because 
not a shortcut, but this actually lets you you look closely and saw that a ninja's hood had been left on the box. Take it, yes. A ninja's hood. I don't think I actually got one of those. A hood of a ninja who sneaks to attack an enemy has the power to raise one's agility. Target the back row enemy, back out, until you get to attack, and then click attack, and you'll still target that back enemy. That might have been a bad idea, I'm not sure yet. And that was a complete fucking waste. Oh, never mind, I had her target the front row. Never mind. that fucking, you know, speed and agility at level fucking six. Shit, he's level ten, he can't fucking move like that. Bishop's bracelet. I think I already had one of those before. Did I? Yeah, one's belonging to a good bishop who turned to evil. Evil powers and it caused the thunder to strike something, something. I didn't fucking finish reading it. it causes thunder to strike. Yeah, I fucking hate these. He got a high fucking defense. And he's friendly, so haha. -ha. Fucking pain in the ass. Okay, that's the other side of that.
warrior carrying carrying a battle axe came walking from the other direction. Uh, you should be careful. The orcs are really riled up right now. Have you seen that herd of orcs? Is that what they're called? A herd? Um, okay, I guess. Supposedly, Sir Gestum is gathering monsters to start a war. They just can't wait to start fighting. They said they'd be paid a lot for it. And there hasn't been a war in a while, so they're all getting excited. Warrior raised one of his eyebrows and grinned. But kidnapping the queen is something only a spoiled prince would do. There's no sense why he would dig his own grave like that. What, did you know about this? I knew she went missing. I didn't realize she was kidnapped. So Eugene guessed him. He's from a noble family that could take the throne. It seems that he got impatient with the queen who wasn't doing enough for the reconstruction. The town's a mess. The people are unmotivated and a crazy labyrinth just popped up out of nowhere. It's not like I can't understand why he got mad. It's easier now for adventurers to live, so it doesn't mean too much to me. If you're going to the lower floors, be careful. Okay. Ah, shit. Nope, nope. Actually, fuck that, I do need a... Is that another actual giant thing? Uh, yes. Let me see if this one fucking, like, doesn't run away. You piece of shit. I caught you from fucking off guard. You hit me first, motherfucker. Ow. And ow. Okay, that really fucking hurt. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, increase the evade of a rogue enemies, or do that. Hit it with that. I don't know what the fuck they're weak against. Oh, god damn. Oh, never mind. But well, goddamn, still. It's like, one damage? Fuck. I knew they had high defense. I thought it would do like, you know, 10, 15, some shit like that. Not one. And thank god for ninjas. With a whole, I can fucking kill you even if I do one damage. And what the piss did you drop? An axe. I don't know what kind. Okay, so that just loops back that way to that. Eh. Yeah, all of this crap just like connects on itself. It's like super fucking confusing. Long sword, I don't know what the fuck that is. Excuse me. Resurrect Velum. Noise. Resurrection method by Ark. Dragon Heart Priest Hair and Bishop Bracelet. Still had gotten dragon hearts. I actually do need two of them for a quest. Uh, let's do the side first, I guess. Lucidus Shop Musical Instrument Repair. Orc who came running out. Gosh, she'd be really rude. See, if you would have come here without getting the quest, like Fawns, Bring Back Our Music Quest, 
the orchid here actually kicks you out. So you can't actually do it. He makes music with our weapon, but she don't get that. Allow me to inform you first that we saw no swords here, and we haven't shields here either. Also, I've never sung or heard any song from March 2 before, but if you would still like some assistance, please feel free to ask. With furrowed eyebrows, Lucita stared at you. However, after you told her what you had heard from her younger brother at the tavern, she became friendly. Oh, okay, so you know my little brother. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to give you the wrong impression. That was a tenth work today. Lucida let out a small sigh. I keep wanting to say Lucinda. They were asking for armor that makes fun sounds when you run, or weapons that make a pretty sound when you hit someone. I told him we can't make anything of that kind, but he just didn't get it. That's why I was getting irritated, I'm really sorry. You asked Lucida about the music she heard in the deep forest. The song I heard at that time? Yes, of course I remember it. The voice I heard in the forest of no return. If I had not heard that song, I would have died within that deep forest. I was about to die in that forest, aptly named the Forest of No Return. I was being chased by bandits and I had no choice but to enter it. At the time I did not realize the true terror of such a place. It was completely silent. A light like that of a sunset shone from above the canopy of trees and made me lose my sense of time. No matter how much I walked, nothing around ever changed. I had no idea just how much I had actually walked. The fact that I was still sane was itself a miracle. When I came to, I was lying on the ground. I didn't want to take another step, even if it meant I'd die there. It was then, just when I was about to give up. to that lovely voice, and then I encountered her. At the edge of the spring, surrounded by animals in the forest, she was singing. I knew that elves did not like to come in contact with humans. I did not think that they would ever even acknowledge a human who had stepped into their sacred land. saw me, she, seemed, she did seem to be acting prudently. She saw that I needed help, and after I told her my situation, she smiled gently at me. Or she smiled at me gently. And most kindly, she said to me, please come to my village. I have no idea what the fuck you just said in that song. this day I cannot forget the song I heard then. I've chosen to become a musician because I'm hoping to encounter that music again. I don't know if I would be of any help to that elf who was abandoned by music, but I'm eager to do whatever I can to repay the elves. After she learned that the leader of the elves was at the tavern, Lucita packed up a few of her things and prepared to go. I will go ahead to the tavern and wait for you. Okay. Luckily, for whatever reason, things can't come in this way because uh, they can come into certain breakaway doors, but for whatever reason, they can't enter that one. Uh, and spring. Some pixies were frolicking, frolicking above the spring. Frolic. This spring is dead. That's because it's fake. Long, long ago, we had the power to heal any wound. 
that's only the deep forest. But it smells the same. It may smell the same, but the water is empty and has no life. Sage stone. So there was a spring. Were you tossing the sage stone? Yes. You threw it in there. With a beautiful sound that came from seemingly nowhere, the spring was bathed in light. It rose from within the spring, and a fragrant aroma filled the air. It felt as if your body has been purified. Recovering your HP, MP, and status. Or status if you're not a retard. And Paul's quest has been completed. Go to the tavern to get your reward. And boom, here you have an excellent grinding spot. Full HP, MP, all that shit's brought back. I fought the zombies, I don't remember if I fought that looking thing in the back. So we'll go ahead individual action. Nope. That. Bracelet spell. Yeah. This spell on the zombie and uh, I still gotta test out all these other spells. Jesus. I think each type of magic, I think, has close to like 30 fucking spells. Do I have a fire spell? I have Zekreta. Which is the level 2 fire. Let's do that and see what that does. Okay, you didn't do shit, you, you little bitch. And white bombers if they drop. Priest hair. Ooh. Okay, that's big that's that big nasty thing. Okay, Turb did her, but I forgot to unpause the fucking video. After that last battle. I don't really have that much more to go for this floor because this is where I'm at. Um, I really don't have that much more to do. The only thing left is like a mini boss battle and finish out the floors and maybe like a couple of cutscenes. I guess I, can, I could go do the quest stuff, but I really don't want to do that.
Yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and call it right here. Yeah, I don't have that much more to go, so when we come back, I'm gonna finish up the last of this, do the quest to turn in, so do that little mini boss fight, clear out the rest of the floor, a couple of more cutscenes, and then head down to B6. So until then, this is Save Night with the Let's Play Wizardry Tale of the Forsaken Land. Later, guys.